And today's video, in today's video, in today's video, I'm gonna show you something insane, truly insane. So if you're watching this video, so you've probably seen one of these bad boys. And these things are called fidget spinners, which actually annoys me pretty much because I really want one of these things. So today, today people, I'm gonna show you how to make your own fidget spinners. So actually I didn't buy any fidget spinners because I found one fidget spinner was 49 US dollars. What's going on people? So today I'm gonna show you how to make this. So actually guys, I made this thing on my own. I made the caps, it's super strong, durable, and it's just like, oh my god. Just after I made this video, I'm just like, oh, no, no, no I'm not gonna tell you everything, I'm gonna tell you the rest, the rest of the video, but now I got this template for two shapes. Right now, guys, let's get right into it, but before I do that, uh, for the middle uh, ball bearing, I bought, for the middle ball bearing, I bought a ceramic one, um, it, it's zirconia and from inside we get ceramic glitter ceramic bearings. I removed the non-removable seal, you'll find it in the video, but I can just show it for you because you might didn't see it. You, you just get yourself a flathead screwdriver and just, you see this line? This one, can you see it? Can you see it? So, can you see this, this line? Just get your um, a flat hair screwdriver and push in hard with your muscle or you can use a hammer just to hammer it and after creating the little hole just like use use your flat head screwdriver as a lever and just push it up and it will come right out as I did with the side but I actually added the rear one back because I found it just like filling with uh, some dirt and things like that so I decided to add the rear one but the front one didn't work so it's after removing this seal it, you can't put it back again it will be hard so actually guys it's amazing so let's get right into it yeah, that's a ceramic one so get it just like out of here ouch get it back in you know and it's like this so now let's cut this packaging off and then, oh, that's much better. <laughs> oh man, so if I want to get higher speeds, I have to remove this seal around it, which is actually not going to be easy. So actually, it spins a little bit after I remove my finger. It's actually very, very smooth in movement. So I want to compare it with another normal bearing, actually. So let's get this one out. So that's normal one or ceramic one? I think it's. Wait, that's. 689, 689. Okay, so that's the last ceramic one. So this one is normal. Now. Oops, sorry for that. So. Oh, there's a great difference between the ceramic and the normal. Oh my gosh. So actually this one is very smooth, it actually spins very fast and easy, and this one it's not, as I say, there's a difference in the inner diameter, this one is smaller and this one is bigger, but the base of them are the same size, as you can see, 22 millimeters. So I will remove the seals, if I, if I couldn't remove it, I, I don't know, but I may just like put it like that, so that's it. So actually guys, I actually successfully removed the non-removable seal out of the bearing. So actually it's pretty easy, you got to get yourself a flat head screwdriver, I'm not gonna require any knives. And be careful guys, you have to position your bearing and your flat head screwdriver away from your finger in order not to cut your fingers. So after you pack a little hole, then just lift it up and it will come right out. So. So right now I got better spinning. It will appear more when I add more bearings and make the shape. So actually if you sew here, it's a little bit bigger and that's what I mean, but no problem. It actually fit in my in my hand, so that's what I do need. So actually I will 
just like put the cat in or the seal and then put it away in order not to catch dust. So you have to do that and then after that you got you, you get your template and then just like cut it into smaller pieces. Back now and here is all the four uh, sides of the fidget spinners. I glued them into this piece of cardboard which is five millimeter in thickness. So right now I'm gonna cut it and when I get to the holes I will uh, I will start recording again so you can see how I will cut the holes because this cutting is easy. And also guys don't make these cuts because this will get your fidget spinner weaker and this may get it to get destroyed and that's not good. So now I'm gonna cut it and I'll be back. So I'm done cutting all the four pieces of the fidget spinner, so actually these two guys will be glued like that, so you just part them look ugly. But no problem, it just fit perfectly. And the same thing with this one, because there was a problem with the scale of it. So right now guys, that's try number one, it didn't go out very successful, but I'm looking forward to make, hey, where is it, I don't know, so I'm looking forward to make a better one with try number two, actually, it spins and it's good and I love it actually, but it didn't spin for a long while, I don't know why, and it actually, because I don't use glue, so it comes right out, so, so, I'm gonna show you how to cut holes easily. I found the cool idea, but it. So right now I will start cutting. So I will cut it just like this. That's a hard part. That's why it don't go well. But I'm I'm gonna try a different method. I'm gonna get myself one of these guys, just like line around them and try to cut it easier. So this may work out. I don't know.
So we are done guys. This is looking sick. It's just like amazing. After I make this video, I'm just like hours sitting just like this. Actually, it's super sick for people who don't like Vincent spinners. Just try it out, guys. You will never stop just like, you will never stop just like fidgeting and just like spinning. It's just like crazy, guys. Is there something called fidgeting? Yeah, I think. I don't know. <laughs> Forget about that, but you will enjoy just like doing this. Emoji. Nothing. Cool yeah. This, it's just enjoyable. You can, you can just like. If you're an expert, you can just spin it and then leave it at your finger. It's very hard, but don't try to this spinner. Actually, it will not work. So sorry for that. Yes. But this is awesome. So thanks guys for watching. Definitely, definitely drop a like for this video because it's insane. Yeah, guys, give it a thumbs up. Smash the like button and get this video to 50 likes, not 100, just 50 guys. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also check the description. So, see you guys in the